Good morning, friends and members of St. Francis in the Fields. Clint Wilson here, your rector. I wanted to share a devotional thought with you this morning. As we wake up, and for many of us, social distancing is our new norm. And yet, for others of us, we are still on our way to work and encountering other people who might be weighed down with anxiety. And I want to share a thought that might frame your day, that you might hold with you throughout the day. And do so by starting with a prayer called the Anima Christi, which means the body of Christ. And this is a prayer that is attributed to a theologian named Lancelot Andrews, and it goes like this. May thy strong hand, O Lord, be ever my defense. Thy mercy in Christ my salvation. Thy all-veritable word my instructor. The grace of thy life-bringing spirit my consolation all along the way and at the last. The soul of Christ hallow me, and the body strengthen me, and the blood ransom me, and the water wash me, and the bruises heal me, and the sweat refresh me, and the wound hide me. The peace of God which passeth all understanding keep my heart and mind in the knowledge and love of God. I particularly love that last line of the Anima Christi where it speaks to our hearts and minds being rooted in the knowledge and love of God. And I think that we stand really at the forefront of an opportunity to ask, what does that look like? How does that really take on substance in our life in this moment? In other words, what does it look like for us to participate in in this love, even as we practice, some of us, social distancing. Well, I think, to be sure, we want to be instruments of that love during this moment. And yet, we don't want to forge ahead with a missionary fervor that lacks wisdom, nor do we want to practice some kind of so-called wisdom that lacks love and a responsiveness to others. And so I wonder this day, if participating in that love, if having your heart and mind rooted in the knowledge and love of God might mean reaching out to a stranger or might mean phoning up a friend or a family member. We might ask ourselves, how can you pray for others this day? But put simply, I trust that as you consider what it looks like to serve others in this moment, that you will find that you have arrived at the place where your heart and mind is rooted in the knowledge and love of God. Because we will know that love more fully as we give ourselves away to others. In ways, to be sure, that are wise, but in ways that are Christ-like, putting the interest of others even above our own. Be smart, be wise, and also spend your resources on others, even in this moment. So I'm praying for you. Keep us in your prayers as we consider how we might respond to these needs. And if you're wondering how you might be able to serve, call the church and we'll try to loop you into some service opportunities. Our phone number is 502-228-1176. God bless.